So hello, hello, all folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of rollings and analysis. But before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. But if in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and please don't forget to press the bell icon. I mean, I don't want you to miss any of the latest royal drama, right? Perfect, so let's get started. So as of current situation, King Charles has decided to throw Prince Andrew out of the Buckingham Palace. Yes, you have heard right. Prince Andrew, 62, will no longer be allowed to have any office in the building or to use the palace as a corresponding address. As a result, the few staff retained at Buckingham Palace after the Duke and Duke of York stepped down from the front line royal duties three years ago could now face redundancy. A source told the Sun, any presence in the palace is officially over. The king has made it clear it he isn't a working royal, so he is on his own now. The Duke is said to have been recruiting for a new communication team in order to improve his damaged reputation and will now be expected to fund his own staff on his own. It comes as Duke treasured former ro role as colonel of Grenier because it was gifted to Queen Camilla. Henry was stripped of the plateau of titles, including Colonel of Granny Gods, in January when he was facing a civil, uh, U.S. civil action or a sexual assault allegation, Buckingham Palace said in the statement at the time. With the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliation and royal patronage have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending his case as a private citizen. The 62 years old later settled a civil lawsuit with Virginia and always denied any wrongdoing. Do you guys believe that? Well, I don't know. I don't believe that. According to the Sun earlier this month, the Home Office also stripped Andrew of his 3 million a year 24 hour um, security. It is now expected that the royal household will pick up the tab. However, despite the Sun's report, the Duke of York has been invited to the traditional royal Christmas at the Sandringham in Norfolk this year. Andrew's ex-wife Sarah Ferguson will also be attending the uh, also be attending this for the first time in thirty years. In his first ever Christmas Day address, royal ex uh, royal expert says King Charles is expected to pay tribute to his beloved late mother queen elizabeth ii and on uh, on the rumor side it is also expected that uh, king charles will also declare something new against harry and Meghan. so what do you think about this news guys please share your thought in the comment until then thanks for watching we'll see you again with some more fascinating royal news and analysis until then hasta la vista